and Telephone Corporation in Japan. Maeda and his colleagues have developed the headsets and remote control as part of a sophisticated wearable computer. They call their device a galvanic vestibular stimulation interface. It works with electrical or galvanic impulses that are transmitted wirelessly to the ear. I'll put the electrodes on. We have to avoid the hair because hair is an insulator. Electrical impulses travel from the remote control to a circuit board in this pouch and by wire up to the ears, where the electrical impulses convey messages to the delicate nerves in the vestibular system. We'll start testing now. Please stand with your feet together. Now I'll remote control your balance from left to right. The vestibular system in our ears is what gives us a sense of balance, direction and acceleration. By sending mixed messages to the vestibular system, the remote control can literally put you off balance, sending you to the right, the left or straight ahead as you attempt to regain balance. How do you feel? It feels like being pulled. Do you feel tingling in your skin? No, I don't. Good. That means this is working the way it should be. Now you might be wondering why anyone would want to wear it. Well, Maida and his team see powerful entertainment value in the device. It can certainly take virtual reality up a notch or two. This is a car racing simulation system, which makes it possible to experience a sense of gravity from side to side. So every time the car turns a corner on the screen, your body will feel like it's being pulled. In this case, the system is working on the inner ear sense of acceleration. So it could be used for things like entertainment systems? Yes, not only for huge devices at theme parks, but in smaller devices like video games at home. The team also envisions helpful uses in daily life. Let's say you're walking to a specific destination, but don't have directions. Well, by connecting you with a remote computer program, this system could get you there. Think of it as OnStar for pedestrians. For example, hook up the cell phone's GPS system to our galvanic vestibular system interface for people who are not good at reading maps. This will help them get to places without having to read a map. It could act like eyes in the back of your head, using collision avoidance sensors to help you avoid cars and other threats from behind. Unlike OnStar, which uses verbal feedback, or text messaging, which uses words, this provides immediate physical feedback. Maida says that's a huge advantage. In this information age, it's just too much information to handle when you're using these computers. Even when you're walking outside, you have to pay attention to cars and other dangers. Controlling computers on top of these other challenges is too much information to handle. That's why it's helpful for people to have a robot, which supports us by doing certain things like paying attention to cars. So the next time you see someone with earphones on their head behaving oddly, then take a look around. Somebody else might have a joystick. More stunts tomorrow on Daily Planet. We have a guy who kayaks down ski hills. And a guy who throws knives at people. Wow. We'll <laughs> see you for that tomorrow. I'm Jay Ingram. I'm Galit Solomon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.